Not very deep. Got one. First cast. Oh, yeah. First cast. Folks got me a little large mouth. All I'm doing is fishing. A, it's a basically a canal that connects two big lakes together. One empties right into the other one. It's actually swift through here, and I'm at the almost at the end of the canal. It's maybe a couple hundred yards long and 20 feet wide, and I caught a bass right away. <laughs> Little guy, he's about 10 inches, but it's a start. I'm just gonna keep that for a minute so she can see it when she gets down here. Caught him on a Bobby Garland. Another one, two in a row. Oh yeah, two bass. Two bass, already two of them. All right. There's both of them. This one's even smaller, he's about nine inches. A nine incher and a 10 incher, look. It's not even very deep and it's real swift through here. It gets real shallow right there because it goes to the other leg and drops down. I'm just making real long casts. Caught two though, or three, you caught one. At least you caught one. This one ain't bad, but it ain't got walleye. We could put in there. It's nice bass and crappie though. I touched that bass. That's for crappie. In the, yeah. Crappie. That's a pretty big lake, actually. There's them people in the boat right there. See? Oh, I still got the camera. Smells like fish. I can smell fish. Kind of want to be right on the center of it where we cast on both sides. Hopefully, not a lot of weeds. Are you kidding me? It's not touching. My God. Touched before. Is 
No, one inch. God. It's about 10 foot deep where we're at, but I don't know about over there, but right underneath us, it's about 10 to 11 foot deep, according to the anchor. This looks like the spot though, I'm telling you, that will attract fish. Okay, right below the rapids, like five, six feet out, it's shallow, but it drops off eventually. Got him. What do I got? It ain't a walleye, bass. All right. All right, folks, today we are fishing a strip mine, an old coal mine. And there's two places on this lake. It's probably, I'm gonna say three or 400 acres. There's two spots where there's boils that come from rain, uh, runoff from recent rains where they allow water to come in to bring fresh water into the lake to keep it from mossing over basically it comes one of them comes from another pit and all of them just come from drains and stuff and it you can see from this boil in front of me and uh, this is one of them the other one's a little smaller this one has more water coming in it than the other one and it looks like one of the best spots on the lake so we're going to try it first and let the wind slowly blow us back to the truck Got a late start today. It's already 10 till five. I had to paddle for half an hour to get down here. We got a light wind from the west, so it'll slowly blow me back and we'll fish slowly on the way back. Hooked into something nice here. I don't know what I got. I'm guessing it's a large mouth, but it's big. Oh my God, it's a big walleye. It's a big walleye. I'm serious. Oh my God, it's about five, six pounds. Grab it, grab the whole body. Oh, this is my biggest walleye ever, folks. Personal best walleye oh on a Bobby Garland crappie jig of all things. A little inch and a half crappie jig. I'm fishing for crappie and just caught the walleye of a lifetime. Oh, he's four pounds. <laughs> Made the whole trip worth it. Don't grab him by the mouth, behind the neck. Behind the neck. No, stop, stop, stop. Don't pull, don't pull, don't pull. Get him down here to me, maybe. Don't let him off. You got it. Oh my gosh. Get him under, oh, over the canoe, over the canoe. Oh my gosh, we gotta measure him. Folks, I just caught, I just caught a big, I'm gonna say he's a four or five pound walleye on a crappie jig strangest thing I've ever seen. I was fishing for walleye, but not at the moment. I got my walleye poles right here in front of me. I got a spinner bait, a crank bait, a swim bait for the walleye, and I had a little Bobby Garland, one inch and a half <laughs> uh, electric ch chicken crappie jig on there and just nailed a big walleye. My God. All right, let's, let me get the backpack. I'm gonna measure it. I'm gonna have you measure it. And then, uh... <laughs> oh, God. Okay, we'll measure it first. I don't know about weight. I can guess the weight by the measurement here. I'm gonna say he's 24 inches, tw 22 inches. Actually, my biggest is 24. Actually, he might not be my biggest. I've caught a 24 incher out of Saline Creek. About what, 22, 20, one, 
Is that it, 20? That's it, 20 inches. That's still nice though. He's real fat. Yeah, all right, give me the tape measure and then you can, uh, we'll get the fish over here to me and then I'll have you film me and zoom in and. I'm gonna call John. He told me to call him. Oh, just hold that pose. Cause John will never believe me if I don't. I'm zooming. Okay, let me message him real quick. Caught this walleye on a Bobby Garland electric chicken, eighth ounce jig head. It's not my, it's not my personal best. I've caught a 24, but this is the biggest one I've caught in five years. So I'm really content. This made the trip worth it. Put it down nice. below, below your face. Like that. Wait a minute. I'm trying to get him to put his fins up. He won't though. All right, just film me for a few minutes and what we're gonna do is turn it off and we're gonna take pictures, a bunch of pictures. I think we should stay here. Put it at that pin. Up the pin. Anyway, folks, what makes the this walleye so special is because I wasn't expecting it. I actually thought it was a largemouth the whole time. It didn't bite like a walleye does. This thing fought like a bass. He bit it like a bass. He was running hard as soon as I, as soon as he took the lure, he just ran with it. It wasn't your typical light walleye bite like you get in the winter where they just peck at it. This guy was hungry. It looks pregnant. I want to say it's a pregnant female. We're gonna put her back, even though I, if I wasn't on vacation, I would keep this because that would be John. Maybe he wanted really that. Good eating, but, uh, anyway, yeah, I've been going after walleye all winter long. You guys seen how I did my mini Black River trips, where I went all through uh, December, January, and February, and never got one over 18 or 19 inches. I finally sitting here crappie fishing and get my 20 inch wall. <laughs> it's still not the one I'm after. He's not big enough to mount. I'm wanting a 27 incher, but this makes me want to come back here. I'm not going to say where I'm at. I'm not giving out my special locations anymore. Some of them I will, some of them I won't, but I'm not going to give this spot away because it's already starting to get semi pressured. Uh, so I will not give that up this time, but all I can say is it's a very good lake. You don't catch many fish at all, but when you do get one, it's always a keeper. So that's what, it's more important to me than catching a bunch of deans. Um, all right. I'm gonna give, now, now turn the camera off, hit the red button. Folks, I got my first crappie of the day, pretty decent one. I caught him on a four inch Kytec swing impact. I usually trim these down to catch crop because they usually will not hit something four inches long. I'm actually using this for walleye. Trying to fish for crappie earlier, I catch a walleye. Now I'm trying to fish for walleye and catch a crappie. Mm -hmm. Not a bad one. He's about right at nine inches. That means there's more right here. A bunch of fish jumping up there. I can't believe. I guess I need to fish for crappie again so I can catch walleye. Nah, we're too far over. There he is. Got it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nice one. We're coming here tomorrow. We're coming back. John's gonna come with us. Oh my God, that's a nice crappie, folks. 
that's what I'm talking about 12 inch nice and gold colored oh yeah big walleye big crappie perfect day of weather nice and cloudy and just barely in the lower 60s it doesn't get any better than this we've had a horrible vacation but we were persistent and just kept going and going for a whole week and finally toward the end we got one more good day to fish because it's supposed to rain Friday we are coming back to this exact lake tomorrow and we're gonna bring my buddy so we'll have three people what I can do is I won't bring the black tub we'll just buy a beach bag and I'll set on the bucket and a big bass here oh my goodness I don't know it's three at least three pounds it might go four Whew. or it's just a hard fighter there's a little spillway right here once again a different the other one and uh, I didn't even want to try it because it's real shallow, but I've seen two big bass already. And the lure of the day has been Bobby Garland. Electric chicken, obviously. Yeah, nice. About two pounds, but he fought like a four pounder. My goodness, beauty. So we got two nice crappie, a big walleye and a big bass. Well, we got a variety now. He tore the heck out of this lure. That did you? I, I know where that other one is, but he's in weeds over there. But I seen a big bass. It ain't the one I just caught either. I think we found our place for tomorrow. Oh man, he tore this up. One fish is all it took to tear this up. I'm using it once more though. Right toward the end. Oh, he's going in these weeds. I got him on the Kytex swim bait as well. Uh, it's a small guy, but it's a bass nonetheless. All right. Boy, that's an awful big bait for him. Look how much he swallowed it, too. All the way to the head. <laughs> Four inches down his throat. Good God. Yeah, really hungry. Wow. <laughs> 